I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fake or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Link up with the gang I'm talking relationships Worth more than money Yes, yeah, sir We live? We live? Oh, man, this this is uh, a... <laughs> This is a, a epidemic. Yeah. This is a pandemonium. Um a, a episode that that's needed, an episode that that had to happen. Definitely. Um because without this guy right here, I would not be where I'm at right now. Real facts. I didn't know that. Yeah, real facts and I'm and I'm explain to you. So I was making beats, bro, since 2004. I joined the Marines in 2004. I met my boy Hash and Cali, and um, we started creating beats on a computer. I never never created a beat on a computer. He was using Magic Music Maker. So uh, when I uh, left to Iraq in 05, I said, when I got back, I'm going to get me a Phantom X6. Because I, I used to go to the Guitar Center like every other payday and see how much it cost, see if it had dropped or something. Mm-hmm. Had the pads Yeah, on bro. So I, I was like, yo, the pads, these joints look dope. I need something. Still never knew how to play the piano. So I started creating beats. And, you know, at the time, man, I was just learning. I, I jumped through FL, couldn't figure it out. Then I jumped into Logic, yo, yo, dog. And um, I started getting into them beat battles like 2017. Okay. When I got stationed here and... um. No, it was twenty. Was it 2017? It's probably before that. I know I started getting I started getting in my eye standard joints. Gotcha. And then I I came here, um, and and when I got out the Marines in 2015, I started doing uh, the beat battles and stuff. And uh, that's when I met you. And uh, I ended up, you know, doing the beat battles. I'm losing. I'm losing. Uh, what's my man name that got the even kill? The even kill, like his attitude was just so mellow. Street runner, street runner. Street runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to tell me like, "Yo, you need to fix your mix. You need to do this. You need to." But just like that, like mm-hmm. I never could. Yeah. I'm like, "Damn, bro. Like, okay, uh, how? Like, can you tell me how?" Yeah, he, he, that was the only thing he would just tell you. He you wouldn't need to do tell this. you. You need to do that. He wouldn't give it. you yeah, yeah. no reason on how to do it. So then, um, you would give me pointers here and there, and sure enough. Um, you won the beat battle where we moved to Tacoma Park. Yeah, remember was, that one? I remember. Yeah, but the first one I did was 2018. Yeah. And you were supposed to do it, but you had something to do. Mm-hmm. So you didn't do that one. But like when we like had one together, we had, it was at Tacoma Park. Yeah. yeah. And I remember um I came and Needles was there. You know, I you know, I was I was in machine, working in machine, and I was just creating, you know what I mean, just do what I normally do. And like I won, but it was crazy because Needles was like, yo, play that back. He like, yo, play what you played. He told Sid, play what you played. And I was like, damn, did this shit sound bad? Or what what did it sound like? And um, he played it back. And sure enough, I ain't know. I left, went back, everybody else. You had you didn't have to, you didn't compete in that one. You just played your yeah, music. I was the, uh, Cause you was the previous winner. Yeah, yeah. I won before, so I was like. The premieres. Yeah, yeah. So so when I won and shit, you were just like, hey, bro, uh, this shit's fire. You want to be a part of Sound Cartel? Yeah. And that that changed me, dog, because I was like, damn, for real? Because, you know, I used to see all these other groups, you know what I mean, and not knowing, like, what, the, what it was going to bring. But joining Sound Cartel enhanced me, bro. It enhanced me so much because I started understanding, mixing, at a whole nother level, making your drums knock like it need to knock. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? If it's if it's on key, if it's off key, because I ain't really know. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. And um, all them years, I was just making beats and not knowing what was in key or not. And um, sure enough, bro, that that time, that day, that changed me. And I just wanted to give you your flowers now, bro, because you done brought a lot of people together that don't nobody normally would bring together out the whole. United States, because all of it was all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And um, yeah, bro. But without further ado, I want to introduce y'all to my guy right here, Mark Shada. Baltimore's own. He don't claim the DMV. No. It's, it's <laughs> Baltimore. That's out to them, though. Shout, yeah, shout yeah, out to the out DMV. To DMV. And um, yeah, man, my guy Mark Shada. Let me hit this. This is, this is the sound card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank y'all. Yeah. 
And thank you for having me, man. What, what a, that is a hell of an introduction. Um, shit, I actually, um, you want to read just why I am uh, kind of just not even because I don't really talk to people like that. But yeah. Like, you open me up to that shit. Yeah. Like, um, like stop being, don't be so stop introvert. Stop being yeah. so introverted. Yeah. Um, you know, you, um, Zay, Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, the reason why I started Sound Cartel, um, I always had the, the vision, the, the idea. I saw the logo. All right. I saw it. But, like, my first beat battle was in 2018. Producer Ground came to Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And um, I said, all right, I'll, I'll do this shit. And, um, came to, you know, I went, submitted the money, on that night, I didn't know it was going to be a beat battle, but I always had the clip ready. Yeah. So, sure enough, oh, uh, Black Metaphor was the... Uh, the judge? Yeah, he was like, the, you know, the guy. Yeah. So, went there, did my thing. I noticed, and it's a big problem in Baltimore, in my opinion. I, I was probably like, the, the event was in Baltimore. Everybody else from Philly... Dude from Detroit, mm-hmm. dude from Atlanta. That's where I'm at South at. Yeah. He drove all the way up here just to be in this shit. Right. So VA, like everywhere, you know, from everywhere, but not from Baltimore. Right. There's only a couple people from Baltimore. I was like, what the hell? This, this should be full of Baltimore. Yeah. But it wasn't. So, all right. So I had the rep. And I was one of the winners. You know, that's South. Oh, he was doing. He was like, you know, oh yeah, I got this joint with G Herbo, and then he he young, he he way younger. Yeah, South younger than us. Yeah. Shit. Like, shout I'm out motion. to South. Yeah, shout out to South. Yeah. He got motion like that, and like shit, probably like twenty three at the time, right? Something like that. Yeah. All right, so me and him met up, and I said, I let him know what I want to do, and he said, I know you down there, I'm up here, and due to lack of resources, I started up Sound Cartel. Right. Because being from Baltimore, my arms, you know, a little, because you know, or short. Yeah. You know. And a lot of people, every city has this issue, but mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just story, it's just story time. Yeah. Right, I'm not going to name name. Rapper from Baltimore, he, he, had, he, he got a little name, he, he got a name to us. Yeah. Um, I reached out to him, try to work crickets. Zay heard them talking in this, uh, it was like uh, something going on at a uh, patchwork. Right. And um, he heard he heard, he heard the Baltimore accent. So Zay, you know, he go over there. Yeah, the twos and yeah, fuse. Yeah, the twos and fuse. <laughs> yeah. He said, uh, he from Cherry Hill, da 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 da. <laughs> and it was like, oh, word. And then, you know, he must have slipped up in the saw sound of Southern again. Mm-hmm. He was like, nah, I didn't fuck up with y'all, but my man Shada, he from up there. Right. And it was like, and one of, somebody from the name group was like, oh, oh, you know, you know, Mark Shada or whatever? And he was like, yeah, that's that's the bro or whatever. And then just from that, they put the bug in dude there, like, oh, he must got some motion. Yeah. Yeah, let's work. Right. And it's just like, yo, I was, I was trying to work with you. Yeah, and that's how Baltimore niggas are. Yeah, it's 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 that's everywhere, bro. Everywhere? Detroit, Detroit, like that too. Um, everywhere I've been, man, it's like I think in order for somebody to really genuine rock with you, it's like they got to get a, a outside mm-hmm. stamp from somewhere. Um, and I hate that because a lot of times, man, you could be messing up something that y'all could have created years ago, even Heck. though y'all might create it in the future, right? But sometimes I guess when things don't align, that's probably what it is. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? The, the the stars don't align. So um, yeah, man, that's Detroit was definitely like that until now. Like, gotcha. you know what I mean? Like previously, bro, that joint was bad, man. Like, for instance, like like Vezo. Um, I've known Vezo since what, eleventh grade, twelfth grade? Damn. We was in high school together and he was with my Get Money Boys, um, Dre, rest in peace, little aunt. Um uh, it was so many of them, man. Like all the homies, P, Keith, Dion, rest in peace, Dion. Um, 
but Reese and all of them, like they they all was was like around him. And um he used to go by Vez. Okay. And um I still got to this day, man, I had his first, uh, I think it was Rags the Riches, his first mixtape, and he was going hard. And, and you know what I mean? But at that time, man, like those underground artists would not get love. Right. And that's why it's like, I think is where a lot of times the disconnect happened with Eminem and the Big Shines is because they felt like they wasn't coming back to the hood to, gotcha. to put them on. But at the same time, shit, I, I went to school off Seven Mile. Runyon Ave was right, right the next street over. That was D12. Gotcha. All of them. Proof, all of them was right there. So it was like, you would see all of them, like, all, bro, we would see them all the time. So I think um, back then, that was the issue, and people weren't really understanding it, like, like how to how to get on. And it was like more of a, like, because people be like, oh, don't nobody ride around with M music. Y'all realize M was the most streamed YouTube oh, yeah, of course. on YouTube, right? Yeah. Like, he wasn't just a local guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's global. Oh, yeah. And once they start catching on and start doing their own thing and getting their own motion, man, like Doughboy Cash Out, um, the Street Lords, um, Cheddar Boys, all of them, it started making sense. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and shout out to the city, man. I love hearing their music. Shout out to my little bro, GT, GT Hard. It's so many of them, man. Yeah. Peasy, Babyface Ray, all of them. And we all, like, in the same area. That's the crazy part. So, yeah, uh, Vezo and them from the six. I'm from the eight, um, and shit. Uh, Peasy and them right across the street from Grasher on the six over that way. So it's like, bro, and it's only like two miles separating us. You know what uh-huh. I mean? And we was all in that same area. Our high school was on seven miles, so that was a mile away from. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like, uh, yeah. So a lot of times, man, people people uh, forget. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? You got to start somewhere. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And um, for you. I know we met in 2017, 2018. When did it start for you, like, far as, like, the music? Oh, the start? Like, when you music? F- start creating music? Uh, our stories are kind of similar with, when it comes to years. So, what, 2003, my first son was born. Shouts out to him. Yeah. Uh, 2000, yeah, 2003. That's the critic? That's the, that's the music critic, or that's the, the second nah, song? Nah, my... My music critic is, is is the second song. Yeah, that's, he be he be critiquing everything. Yeah, that's Jay. That's yeah. That's my A and R. Yeah, He's, yeah. Like he he be putting me on the shit. Yeah. Like, oh, you don't know about my kids the same way, yeah. bro. Hey, my kids the same way. But yeah, go ahead. When, but uh, yeah. So, um, drag my brother. Yeah, shout out to drag. I shout to drag, big bro. I saw him. Recording and making beats on this shit called a music generator. MTV joint? The MTV music yeah, generator. Yeah, that PlayStation? PlayStation 2. Yeah. And this was, um, I was in college, I was 18, and um, we ended up going to the same spot. And I seen, uh, seen him, I was like, oh, bro. So, like, you know, take a ride. And he was letting me know, you know, what he's doing. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. And I saw him, and you know, he make the beat and all that shit. But it has looked so difficult to get the beat from the PlayStation to out into the world. So, right. so he would, uh, you know, he had the chords, I mean, the, the yellow, white, mm-hmm. red joint. The RCA joints. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the RCA joint. Plug that into a CD burner. Yeah. And back then, this 2002, three or whatever. A CD burner, uh, that shit is a cost. Expensive. Yeah. Yeah. They's doing that shit. I'm like, shit, I can't afford that shit. Right. So I was like, I know it got to be another way. I, mean, I, I know I had a baby on the way and shit. But um, I saw that. I was always like um, confiscating uh, software. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, um, Acquiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acquiring yeah, some yeah, software. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. I like that better. Yeah. yeah acquiring. Know, yeah. Acquiring software. Yeah. Acquiring software. So, this was back in the day before the, um, way before fiber optics and shit like that. Well, mm-hmm. fiber optics was available, but nobody when, knew about nobody, it. Nobody, yeah. Like, so I had the 56K modem. Mm-hmm. I had my own line and shit at the time. So that should have just be blocked up. You know, I let them, hey, you try and reach me. You just hit me on myself. Right. Because we 
Yeah. We doing some acquiring we right a, now. We American online. Yeah. We acquiring. So that's how I got, um, I actually got Cakewalk for, at, at first. I remember Cakewalk. That was the first, and, that was the first dog I ever bought. Yeah, I ain't buy it, but yeah. the first one I used. That shit was $20. Mm. I, I still didn't like, know how to use it. And I was just like, eh, I don't like this. But then, um, dude on my job was telling me about, uh, something called FL Studio. No. Fruity Loops, yeah. Or no FL Studio, yeah. It's called FL Studio now, right? But like, Fruity Loops, yeah, Fruity Loops, and everybody shitted on it and all that stuff. But like, I made my first couple of beats. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah. Okay, I mean, and um, first artist to work on work on on my shit or rap over was Drag. Yeah, I was like, all right, this this shit can happen, right? And he would record in Magic Studio, mm-hmm. but um, then. Eventually, I said, all right, I want to take this shit serious. And I know me. So, like, right, I got to pay for this shit. So, but I didn't, I never liked how FL looked. Right. Like, the, the, uh, the in, like. The interface. Yeah, which is, like, the yeah. uh, GUI. I, I yeah. never, uh, it, just, it, it just didn't make sense to me. Right. So, I started fucking with Reason. Mm-hmm. For Reason, it was $400, $430. Put it on layaway at the guitar center. Yep. Got it out of layaway. Started messing with it. And that was all I was doing. Working on it. You had the joint where you had to plug in the back and all of that. All the of original. That. Yeah, yeah, The original yeah. reason. This is reason 2.5. Yeah. Yep. Reason 2.5. And um, I was making beats off for that. And I ended up buying uh, FL also. But like I said, I didn't really fuck with it. So I gave it to the crew. Um, drag. Street Scott. Like shout them. out Street Scott. Yeah, shout out Street Scott. Yeah, Street Scott fired Seeing too. those two together, because they had a studio at the Belvedere Hotel. Mm-hmm. And um, just being around that, it was a, it was a, it, it still is a team. Uh, team Arson, uh, now they're called TAGMG. Shouts out to all those guys. Yeah. Um, and they just say, hey, here, y'all can... I do what y'all do, and everybody is so fucking with FL because mm-hmm. a lot of them was on the um the generator, right? And once motherfuckers moved from the PlayStation to the to FL, shit changed. Yeah, because things are so much faster. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't got to worry about oh, I gotta. It was just different on the on the PlayStation, right? And like, yeah, as far as making things a lot easier to do and stuff like that. But um, I was on Reason, stuck on Reason. And then um, eventually I said, yo, I need BSTs, shit like that. Yeah. Start fucking with Logic. I've been on Logic ever since. Yeah, man. That that VST game, man, is crazy, man. Because, like, for instance, again, you introduced me to those VSTs. Like, I didn't know. I just knew because, you know, in, in the Phantom X6, they had their own yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling was fire. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Then I start understanding like this is where the 808s come from. This is where the, the 909s and all of that. Like so, yeah. I'm like, oh, this shit fire. But how do I, how do I transfer it? Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So what I start doing is I start using it as a MIDI out to um, what I have at the time when I was stationed here in Quantico. I think I, I had because that's when I got my first Mac in 09. Okay. So yeah, when I got when I got my Mac, I had I had Logic. I had got Logic. I think it was like two hundred bucks or something like that. Yep, yep. And um, I would use it as a damn as a MIDI. But Logic had these VSTs. Mm-hmm. And then when I when I got introduced to you, you was like, "Yo, bro, you gotta you gotta use these. Use this. Use this. This this. Try this sounds out. Try this sounds out." I'm like, "Oh my god! Like, what is this? Right. Like, it was crazy, dog. It was like open my 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 ears up to a whole nother like." realm of sounds. Yeah. So, like, a lot of people don't, I don't say they don't use them, they use them now, but how impactful that is to have VSTs in your arsenal when you're creating. That's how we get, this no samples, by the way. Yeah. So, I started off, like, well, people get the misconception that I have an issue with sampling or motherfucker that sample. Yeah. Totally not true. It's, it's, it's told, how you say it. That's yeah, why. Yeah, truth be told, I will fuck you niggas up when it comes to that type of shit. But yeah. I just don't. Like, that's just, it's just because I can hear 
the melody, I can hear it, and I can see it all in my head, and I can transpose it out into the world. It takes time, right. but, you know what I mean, like, yeah. that's... So, once I started getting all these different libraries and ner- learning how to reverb some shit that'll make it sound like, oh, that's a real... Is that a sample? Is it a... Or, like, make that string sound like it's somebody right there, like, really... Planning. Planning shit yeah. or panning shit a certain way or auto panning it so so it start here and and it moves around and it moving you like yeah. man where you sample that from right you know what I mean and I started doing that oh in beat battles yeah it'll fuck niggas up when um they'd be like no samples by the way what yeah. matter of fact you was there that night when uh Joe Claire oh yeah remember bro that was that was a Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace oh. to, to Chucky Thompson, man. Because that was that was a night, man. Like yeah. I think I hit you or somebody. You hit me. Yeah, I hit you. I was yeah. like, yo, bro, Joe Claire doing like a uh an interview and beat, like let you play like the showcase show beats, like down at the radio station. Yeah. What was that, 95.5? 95.5. Yeah, WPGC. Fact, you told me about it, and, and my sister-in-law told me about it. Yeah. And um, I was like, all right, you you the second person to tell me about it. Yeah. Let's let's go. And I, I told you that day. Yeah, I told you. I told I told um Lou. Lou. I yeah. told um People's Champ too. Yeah. I told, but he got there late. Yeah, he got there late. So he he went he wasn't able to, but yeah, bro. Lou got there late too, right? Yeah, yeah. Lou got there late too. But I mean And the thing about it, we didn't even know that it was like on some first come first serve nah. type shit. Uh, we just happened to get there early. Yeah. And he said, All right, cool. Y'all the first two. And then it was somebody else there. Mm-hmm. He was like, all right, y'all sit right here. He was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, all right. Once these 10 seats is, is up, that's it. That's like, it. Everybody that's, else has got to watch. Everybody else has got to watch. Right. Like, oh. So that, you know, so a lesson of y'all, hey, be, be, don't be on time. Be early. Right. Be you know early. Cause, be cause early. You never know who you're going to run into early. You never know who you're going to connect with early because when it's, it starts nine times out of ten. They didn't already pick the people they want on yep. the show, or they they want to talk to, or or whatever. Yeah, you can mingle yeah. later. Yeah, you later. know what I mean. But get there early, cause yep. me as a marine and shit is like we was always taught to be fifteen minutes prior. So we're always fifteen minutes prior to fifteen minutes prior. So when it comes to music, I'm trying to be there an hour early, even though it might not be nobody yeah. in that motherfucker, but maybe two or three people. I'm going to find out who those two or three people are That's before. Because we was there. It was, it was one hour so early, in fact. We had, we went up in the 95.5. The radio offices, station, yeah. Went to the radio station, and it was like, oh, no. It's downstairs and around the corner. Right. We had that much time. Right. Like, and I wasn't a Marine. Thank you for your service. Yeah, hey, appreciate the way. it. But uh, <laughs> my dad would leave the fuck out of me if I didn't come outside. Right. He'll say, he always had the old... He had the big Motorola cell phone joint, the '90s, <laughs> shit like this, fucking big, heavy the big, as a motherfucker. The big flip yeah, yeah, nah, it was just oh, the old school in, in the bag. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll be outside at uh, nine fifteen. Click. That's it. I'm seven years old. I don't understand the importance right. of time. Right. Until that that uh, Honda Prelude, them lights is going away. See the brake lights. See them brake lights. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Hey, I'll see you next weekend. Yeah. I ain't I ain't I ain't coming this I ain't coming. Yep. I'm gone. But yeah, man, that uh that day was definitely a, a monumental day because um those who don't know who Chucky Thompson is, please do your research. But he's also he's a legend. DC legend, but he's also a music hip hop legend, yeah. R and B legend when it comes to Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige. A uh, bad boy. Yeah. If you know, you know. Just go Google him. Yep. Um, but yo, he he played us. Uh, I got chill bumps, man. What to this play? day, I'm yeah. so mad that that shit didn't come out. He had a song. The best song that I heard was with Yay, Nikki, and X X X with Ty Dolla with Ty Dolla Sign on the hook. And I think that's the song. If I'm not mistaken, that Nicki ain't clear for that new album that's coming out, the Vultures mm. joint. If I'm not mistaken, it makes sense. 
because she hasn't cleared it or whatever. Yeah. But, man, if that song came out, I don't know if it's if it'll be dated now, but that shit know. sounded crazy. That shit was crazy. I was like, damn, Chucky was just playing, man. Yep. He was just playing shit, but that one though, was the main one that stuck out to me. He was like, I got one. Said, yeah. I don't know if you're ready for this. He was like, come on, let's play. He said, yeah. He said, all right, I... I got to put y'all phones away for this. Yep. He played that record. Like, yeah. Yeah. That shit and, was... uh, what, XX is, just died probably what? Like maybe a, less than a year. Yeah. It was less than it a was year. Less, it was like it was months. Less, yeah. He had yeah. literally maybe previously like a month or two. I don't yep. remember the actual date we went. I know it was in the fall, like summertime, fall. Yeah. It was like, yep. It was like, around back that to time. school time. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, man, that, record was crazy and that's when I was just like yo this dude I don't think you know like the hitmen is different yeah they were different they were definitely different and all of them had their own like they they came together to, as a group mm-hmm. but they had their own shit yeah. kind of like sound cartel oh yeah you know what I'm saying and and that's where I think um a lot of people slept on, man, because we had some... We still do, like, you know what I mean? Definitely. Um, I think... Egos. Yeah. Egos, because, yeah. like, you know, I, I would... Oh, type of nigga I am. These plugins and all that stuff. Costs and, you know what I mean? Right. I'm sending them to yeah. everybody. Hey, yo. Here's these drums. Here's these sounds. Uh, only thing I need y'all to do the tag and Put the shit. Put the tag. That's all I need you to do. Put the tag. Some niggas would do it. Niggas wouldn't do it. Yeah. And I'm like, like you don't see what I'm trying to do? That's like, yeah. like, this is not a, I'm not trying to like, boy y'all enough yeah. like that, you know what I mean? Sorry to be on, that's some bottom shit, but I think, I think Detroit niggas do, I don't know. But like, <laughs> we, call, we call it home. Okay, yeah, ain't yeah, trying yeah. to hold you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I ain't trying to do none of that yeah. shit, but like, like, you know, like, Sure, the south side be like, hey, yo, put the no one, yeah. no one bats an eye, you know what I'm saying? Right, everybody's gonna throw that in there. Shout yeah. out to the 808, Shout out to them, man. yeah, but, but um, yeah, definitely, man. I think, um, I think, yeah, it, it definitely was the egos, and I ain't understand it because yeah. it was like, bro, like. We all trying to do this shit together. Yeah, we like trying to, nobody we, is over. Yeah, nobody's yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. Shada started it. South, South and them, they created it. Like, but, bro, like, let's let's take it. Yeah. Let's take it to other levels. Because if you look at 808 Mafia, yeah, they still 808 Mafia, but you still got TM doing yep. his thing. You got Perp. You got all of these other guys, man, doing their shit. Fuse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got everybody doing their own thing, but they got the same tag. Yeah. In that joint, it never Over the changes. Same tree, yeah. It never changes, and and that's the thing. And I was just like, yo, like, all right, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, y'all grown men, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's on y'all to you know what I mean. If you do, if you do it, you do it. You don't, you don't. Cool. But at the end of the day, like, how are we gonna progress? Right. If you just won't keep your ego at, at the door, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but even though. The egos got in the way. I still think, bro, we had some times, bro. Yeah. We definitely. had some time. When we went to, what was that? Um, in, in Atlanta. It A3C? Right. That was the best A3C ever, yeah. dog. We yeah. had, we had, man, shit, we had the whole house. We had the Airbnb. We had, shit, we was bumping into everybody. Just Blaze, which I know that's one of your oh, favorites. Yeah, that was, you know what I mean? One of dope. your favorites. So shout out to Zay. Yeah. Because- Zay is a PR guy. He is a facilitator. He's definitely a facilitator, like, dog. The P- hey, Zay, the PR guy. Definitely. He's definitely, definitely. He's definitely that, dog. Because he, like, he will get you, he will get you in those spots. And think about Zay, man. He knows everybody. Yeah. And I'd be like, Zay, why, why the fuck Zay ain't on yet? Like, Zay could be on, or he could be doing something mm-hmm. in that realm. Yeah. But yeah, I, I really don't know. I think yeah. that's a. I don't know if I, I wouldn't say ego. I think I don't know because like Zay, he knows people that are that could put him into position mm-hmm. like that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. The the guy who owns a patchwork. 
He'll call Jay up and say, hey, I got I got an event coming up. Feel free to come. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to send you the info. Yeah. Come, drop your name. Yeah. Like, I'm like, damn. Yeah, Zay, Zay, got, Zay got the plug for everything in Atlanta. Yep. Everything you need in Atlanta, Zay has it. Um, Jet, Jet was dope. Jet, Jet is dope. Jet, oh, yeah, um, Jet. We um, had, bro, like, we had, like, a real team. I got, I got a cool Jet story. Um, somebody, I forget his name. Uh, he produced for, um, Thug, mm-hmm. and shit like that. He went on Facebook saying, um, can't nobody fuck with me, da, da, da. So, Dre, Rematic or whatever, shout out to him. Shout out, shout out to Dre. Um, he said, he just put my name in the mix. I said, all right. So every time, people do this often. So I go check out their shit. Yeah. And I come back and say, no, you trash. I, I destroy you. Yeah. And then I said, you know what? It wouldn't even be fair if I would do it. I'm going to let one of my youngins get at you. Yeah. And Jeffrey Kitchen got in on it. Shout mm-hmm. out to Jeffrey. He's Shout a out to Jeffrey. Big reason how a lot of the guys even all met. He he pulled up to the joint in Atlanta, remember? Yeah, he did. He, he pulled did. up. Yeah. He did. He pulled and up. And Jeffrey's been having a hell of a year. Hell of um, a run. I've been watching him build the studio up all the yep. way from scratch. Um, He's doing this thing. I think he did what, uh, what's the guy's name? Don, Don, Don Tripp. Don Tripp. Um, yeah. Whole project. And Lido. I think he he working with Lido yep. too. Yep. So um he said, All right, all right. Uh got a platform to do it on. He said, all right, bet. Jet, let's say this was a uh we played six records, mm-hmm. like five one jet. Yeah. And like dude was like, ah, fuck y'all, this was biased and all this stuff. Like, ah, you you call motherfuckers out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, shout out to Jet, rep, rep for the team. Yeah, um, AKA Hit Griffey. Hit Griffey. Hit My Griffey. Bad. Yeah, Name shout change. out to Jet. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. I think everybody. Um, everybody. I I believe is doing well. Um, yeah. I try to tap in with everybody. Um, but again, like I'm I'm only one person. Of course. And people need to can they can tap out to me too. Phones. Yeah, work f- two phones. Ways. It's a two way. Like it, ain't no one way ways. streets. We yeah. we me and Roland always talk about that shit all the time, man. Like, and I ask a motherfucker, like, "Yo, is this a one way or two way street?" Right, 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 right. And they be looking at me like, "What?" I'm like, "I'm asking you, like, you you talk you talking to me? You coming at me crazy? Is this a one way or two way street?" Yeah. And then when they when I hit them with that, they be like, "Oh, it's a two way." I'm like, "All right then." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right then, then act like it. But nah, man. Um, Sound Cartel, man. We we did some other stuff too, man. And I think the uh. The sound cartel beat and song critiques. Yeah, I think it birthed it birthed a lot of people to 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 go out and and venture out and and be confident in what they're doing. Definitely, and I think it also helped people too because, like, I mean, shout out to T B Robbie, man. T B Robbie <sighs> is doing his thing, man. He was dope, like, cause he was an artist too, wasn't he? Yeah, artist he, and producer. Yeah, so he he had come one one week play this play a song, come come the next week play a beat. Yep. Um, what's my man from Atlanta? Um, the singer songwriter. Um, oh, hmm. it's yeah, like Black fire. something. Yeah, JB Sean Black. Sean Black. Sean yeah. Black. Yeah, Sean Black was fire, bro. Um, yeah. we would, bro. That was I ain't gonna lie. That kept us going, and Jet started it. And then yeah. when Jet had the, you know, when Jet got more into engineering, I took over. Yep. And um, when I was at that studio, and like. And then I would do it sometimes. Yeah, my man. my shit would be a little meaner, man. But it was it was, <laughs> it, was, it, was it was needed, needed though. Yeah, it was needed because sometimes, man, I think um, when you you need that harsh critique, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Like we can't be sugarcoating and be like, oh yeah, 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 man. You know you you do good, man. You did good, and like we giving y'all fifty dollars yeah. every week. Yeah. We was giving fifty dollars every week, yeah. and I think that's where. Our disconnect happened for the, the team. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people's egos was getting in the way. And I'm like, bro, we trying to do this for the culture. Like we, we was building a brand. Yeah. We was building a brand. We was building, we was building a, a network. A network, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Not only um, the brand, it was the network. And I don't think they were seeing that. Right. And because I think for them, uh, it was more of a 
all right, man, we putting this bread into this pot, but what what are we getting back from it? Yeah. And brand recognition. Like, yeah. just seeing this flag getting flown. Right. The jersey. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get everybody to get jerseys, yeah. get, get merch. I'm like, you know me, I'm marketing. So exactly, I'm like, exactly. let's get all this stuff going, man, because it's going to build up who we are. Yeah. And people going to be like, yo, reach out to this person. Reach out. Hey, holla at Tweez. Holla at Shada. Holla at, J- holla at Dre. Holla at Zay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it just would have been dope because, all right, let's say, um, I, I need somebody to sing the hook on my shit. Right. Limbo Child. Yep, shout out to Limbo. Shout out to Limbo. She won this one week or, you know, hey, hey, can you do this hook for us? Yep. All right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just networking and yeah, building. I, and, I think they wasn't they wasn't really looking at the, the bigger picture when it right. came to, like, Bro, do you realize we got artists we can work with at yeah. the, the the touch of a button yeah. from the DMs? And shout out to social media for that gift part because that's yeah, the man. gift of it. Like the gram. Yeah. Uh, Just reaching out like, hey, yeah. you realize this person and they not charging us. Right. You know what I'm saying? We giving them a beat. They giving us a verse and we splitting it 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We doing the things right. And I think too... um, when we was building, building up the brand and understanding the knowledge of the business, yeah. that's when people was just like, they didn't even want to do it or um, they, I guess they, uh, I can't speak for them. I right, have right, to ask right. them they themselves. Right. But I know for me, I took the business real serious because I'm like, bro, like, do you realize we only get .003? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we need to build the brand up, keep building it up, building it up to where if one of us blow, we gon' good. We gonna be good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. cause now we have we have traction, and now we can build more traction, and you can get in these rooms. And I think to me, um, with us building the brand when we was doing that, we started getting in those rooms. Yeah. Cause I was at the studio out here in VA. You was doing your thing at the crib. Everybody, they had, they had, um. What's oh, what's her name? The one with that that's the high rise joint. Oh yeah, Sage. Yeah, Sa- Sage. Shout out to Sage. Sage. Yeah, Sage. Yeah. Sage had the dope spot yeah. to where you can record and get some 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 footage. Like we all had different spots, and Zay, of course, had patchwork. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and us getting around, man. It was it was really trying to just build. And I yeah. think a lot of times that's where things fall. But at the same time, man, you always just had to bounce back to yourself. So what you been doing lately, like, far as, like, production-wise? Um, always. Shout out, shout out to Larry the Lobster, man. We can't forget Yo. Larry the Lobster, man. We can't forget Larry, man. Larry the mother... Nah, uh, Larry the Lobster, dog. The flashy play Flashy, boy. man. Um, flashy cold, man. When, like, when, when we out, like... That's like my partner in crime when it comes to this, like, yeah. Like, far as um, the critiques and shit, like the other ones, not not like mm. excluding ours, but like the, with the big motherfuckers, like, yeah, the cool and Dre's, fucking uh, Shay Popes. Shout out um, to Shay Pope. Shout, shout out to Cool and Dre. Um, and when you hear that sound cartel, you hear that sound cartel, like, hold on, a oh, group. Mm-hmm. And then, like you know, what I mean, well, like we we popped up at a event by Cool and Dre, and um, you know, what I mean, that was so, in Miami, right? That was in Miami. It was a full circle moment because mm-hmm. you know we've been submitting shit to Cool and Dre from since twenty nineteen or something like that. Yeah. So then, that know, was we, Beat Talk, right? Yeah, yep, yeah, Beat Talk. And um, I met people people from that. Right, you know what I mean, just being in situations and showing out. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, shouts out to. Uh, the flashy Playboy, yeah, flashy, super dope, and yeah. he had he got um. Do he still work with um? What's my man name with that deep ass? Yeah, uh, yeah, that, we got the delivery was crazy. Yeah, we got a record. Uh, he he changed his name. It was like Prince something. Yeah, yeah. Um, fire another fire artist, man. Def. But um, what else? What what you feel like um? Like what you working? You got a, a dope job and then doing music. How do you fit time in for the family? Yeah. Uh, well, 
Wake up four in the morning. Got clock in by six. But get off, you know, two thirty. But stay for overtime, let's say. But um I go pick up Liam. We go do the homework. Yeah. Work on the spelling words. And downstairs. Downstairs. Cooking. Trying, trying, trying to cook up something. Yeah. If I got something. Right. If I don't, it's always something music related. Like if mm-hmm. I don't, I'm, I'm uh, browsing to see uh, what other sounds I don't have or whatever. But um, kick it with the wife when she get home. And, you know, we might watch something. Or somebody did do something. Right. We was going to do something this weekend, but it was supposed to be a supposed a nor'easter. Yeah. But, Bro, they shit they be killing me, man. They yeah. said two storms supposed to collide yeah. and nothing happened. Yeah, so, but um, just can't um, but the family just need to, the family gets that I'm very passionate about the music, but I'm passionate about the family too. You know? Yeah, but I've been doing this shit since you know, was since my my oldest son is twenty. I've been doing this since two thousand three, twenty years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just so, it's just just finding the balance. time, the Find, balance, finding balance. Yeah. the happy medium. Yeah, the happy medium. Yeah, because because the work life balance is always right. one thing. Then you got the music life balance, right? That you're trying to. And that's one of the reasons why, when you know the opportunity came for me to get in the uh, in life sciences slash pharmaceutical field, uh, I took it because you know before that I was at Domino Sugar, yeah. And every time motherfuckers would hit me up, where I'm at, right? I'm at, I'm at Domino Sugar. I mean, right. I was at work all the time. Um, so, it's fine. T- so now, I have time for the family and, yeah. and to do, you know, music right. and like that. So, yeah. How you, feel, how you feel about today's music scene? As far as on the production side, I guess as a whole? Either. We, we, side, we start with production, then we can go as a whole. Got you. All right, production side, I'm looked at as a hater because... I remember when I had to at least play something. Like, mm-hmm. at least, like yeah, you, you said earlier, you know, you weren't trained on the piano, neither am I, but right. still, you have some, you can hear something. And you know the chords. You know something, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I know I'm about to sound like the old dude, but you drag and drop now. <laughs> like, <laughs> it'd be like, you know, like, motherfuckers say, uh, it'd be a kit. And like, yeah, you know, got the got the melody kit with the the hi hats and the melodies, and and the only thing you got to do is put the RPM and look in the folder. You see one thirty one BPM hi hats, one thirty one snare, one thirty one melody. Drag that shit in, boom, 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 boom. You got a beat. That's how motherfuckers can say, "Yo, man, I made this shit in two minutes." Right. I, I made this shit five minutes. Put some growth speed on it, yeah. and, and there we go. I know I sound like a hater, but. Hey, is what it is. Right. But I don't do my shit like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You take time. I take time. You definitely yeah, take time. And I don't know. You know, some 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 niggas like McDonald's. And that shit is nourishment for them. But I like a full course meal. You know what right. I'm saying? Like that grandma home cooked yeah, meal. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, I respect that. To each their own. Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, a guy like me, yeah, will get lapped because of motherfuckers. And put together 10 beats while I did two. Yeah. You know but it's saying? the art, though. But it's the art of it for me. Yeah, it's the art. You know, so I appreciate the art of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so like, like when I see uh, Bink the Humble Monster, when he shout, made, out to Bink. shout out to Bink. Bink Fire, When too. he be going crazy on them, or yeah. when people, oh, you wouldn't have, if, because I, I started this sound. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, but like he's so vocal about it, and I think stuff like that probably like kept him. Even I hold him at a high regard. Yeah, he, he's a, like, he's top, he's yeah, top tier. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think stuff like that probably like put him at a, you know, like it's the reason why, yay and just was it what was uh op- with open arms re- received by Hove, and mm-hmm. maybe. You know what I mean? Because all of them was there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, um... And Mink got some hits on that joint. 
Yeah. He got some hits with Jay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But, All um, of them do. But yeah. at the same time, man, I think... Um, I don't know. I don't know the whole story about it, yeah. but I mean, they all made a a body of work because that was what Blueprint one, Blueprint, Blueprint yeah. two, um, uh, it, blue. It was the Blueprint. It was wasn't the Blueprint. It? Yeah. And uh, before that, uh, Dynasty. Mm-hmm. And but Bank haven't worked with them since Blueprint. Yeah. And he was on uh, Freeways. Uh, that one free, that Freeways album. Um, and they sampled uh, uh, when they were remembered by Gladys Knight and the Pips. Right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Bink, when they cut to that sample game, man, Bink is, is one of the, the top tier sampling producers that can, and then had them drums to be yeah. going super crazy. Like, he he's he's super fire, man. And, yeah. and, yeah, like you said, bro, to each his own, man. And, I, and I've, I think a lot of times, too, I think producers get in that realm when they hear somebody like you or Bink or me or somebody that say that, that they this is how they do it and they be like, oh, I got to do it like him. No. Like, nah, do yeah. it your way. Do it your way. You know what I mean? Do I'm it your way. Cause, how I do it. Yeah. Like, because if I make it from scratch, I might make two or three beats from scratch. Mm-hmm. Then I might use a melody from some one of the artists or producers that I, I've worked with, you know what I'm saying, or that I've met they send me something and I create out of that. Or yeah. I might chop it up and create from what you gave me. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, just do you. Like whatever, whatever works. If you can make a song from it, do you. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? If it's fire, do it. Like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, don't dig, don't be feeling like discouraged that, like, oh, my f-. cause a lot of times I notice like people look up to you, people look up to to me, and they be like, damn, he just shitted on my process. Mm. It's not that. Not that. I'm you know just, what I mean? when it comes to this music shit, sometimes I can be abrasive and or harsh. Yeah, you like that math teacher. Yeah. You like, <laughs> you that math teacher. It has to be this way. You but know no, what I no, mean? No, for not, you, though. Yeah, yeah, for me. For you, yeah, yeah, like, exactly. I do it yeah, this, this way. That's how I do it. Yeah. I, I, that's how I tell my yep. mother all the time. I do it like this. I don't give a fuck how you do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. But if you want your shit to not, hey, I can show you. Yeah, I mean, I can show you. How I can help you it. with the. I, I can help you. I can help you with the with the drums. Yeah, definitely. And how to make a knock and, and, and the sonics. Yeah, because shit, I've been tripping and falling years in this music. Right, shit. right. You know what I'm saying? So I get it now. Like the beat battle scene helped me a lot. Yeah, when when it comes to that shit, it definitely did for me, man. Because I didn't understand it at all. Because no. I was just like, yo, man, it's like a transition every two to four bars. Mm-hmm. Why is there so many transitions? I'm I'm trying to make songs. Right. And, and like that's how me and you kind of like got cool because I, I noticed I said, oh shit, yeah, you your beat battle beats are kind of like mine's, meaning like I'm not in there trying to hit you and yeah. the, the high hats doing all this wild shit. And like my shit's a regular beats that you can rap on or make a or song sing, to. Yeah. But it has transitions, mm-hmm. but they make sense and they don't throw the artist off, right. you know. And he was doing that shit too. And I was like, okay. But um, and that's where when we made it to Atlanta, um, remember that? Uh Beast the uh, Battle of the Beasts? Yeah, the, the Beast of the Beasts yeah, or something beast like that. Beast, something like that. Yeah. Yep. And it was like it all depended on who your judge was. Yep. I don't even remember who was the judge I had that day because it was like a three day event, yeah. right? I don't even remember who the judge I did have, but um, what was the dude? Agent O is like who I went against. Shout out to Agent O. Agent O was fire. His shit was fire. His shit was knocking, and it's like, bro, I felt like mm-hmm. me personally, I felt like my shit was being sabotaged. I'm like, bro, why my shit so low? Yeah, and I'm like, I know, like you, you showed me how to make my shit get higher, sound higher, sound good. Before we even like left, so I'm like, why my shit sound low? And I just felt like, you know what I mean. But Agent O was fired though. He killed, yeah. he killed, he killed me on that shit. on that beat battle joint. Yeah, shout out to Agent O, Sean yeah. Hibbler, yeah, like, uh, Sh- uh, Agent M, yeah, Sean Hibbler. Like, um, shout out to those guys. Shout out to the Bounce Gang, Bounce Gang, Kangaroo Boys. Yeah. I call them. Yeah, shout out to the Bounce Gang, <laughs> Double A, all yeah. of those guys. Man, they they were fired. Um, but um, yeah, Agent O, man, he Midi Monsters. Yeah, he he showed me, he showed me. I think he's from like Houston or something too. I was like, okay, all right. 
Because his shit won a lot of transitions either. It was like our shit, mm -hmm. but the shit was... I felt it. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? And you know how, like, you know what I'm saying? When you when you listen to music, like, I got to... I gotta feel it. If I don't feel that shit, like I'm, I don't do throwaway beats. I just put it to the side. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just maybe come back to it another day. Yeah. Cause I be hurting sometimes. I be like, like, why the fuck? My shit, why is it? Nah, yeah. never mind. But yeah, shout out to them, man. But Beast of the Beats, definitely, I, I, I turned it up after that. And then that's when I really was like diving into like logic and finding certain shit in logic and finding things in. And FL, like I literally just jumped back into FL, but I be in all of the dogs, and people be like, "Dog, stick to one." No, I mean, you like, ain't gotta stick to you one. You don't have to. Yeah, I learned literally. I learned reason from S. I learned F. I learned FL from myself. I learned logic from you. Like I literally was picking up each dog and understanding them because I felt like if you get in a room with other producers yeah. that's using a different dog and you just sitting there, you don't know what you're doing, right. how you going to be some type of service to them? Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I figured, like, let me learn these to the point where I can make beats on them, learn the the fine tunes of it, and if I need to get in there, I get in there. And that's how I created dog tapes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was talking about dog wars. Yeah, dog that? wars. That was oh, with uh, now, Letter uh, L. Yeah, but now we Shout had out to a... Letter uh, L. What's that shit called? When everybody be on the phone, what's that app FaceTime? No, nah, it was an app called, uh, man, it was like 2020. Oh, Cap House? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we were on Clubhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we had the Dog Wars shit. Yeah. There was a, a lot of motherfuckers in there. Yeah. I'm like, huh. Man, we, I'm telling you, man, COVID, I, like, I hated it for the simple fact, you know, I lost family members and stuff. Yeah. But for us and music and how it kept us going, Clubhouse was definitely a, a, a staple for COVID because we connected with so many people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was so many artists and producers and like big name people coming into our Dar Wars and yeah. just letting people play. The fact that you can play your music off of a phone mm -hmm. and this shit sounded like you was in the studio was crazy to me, dog. Yep. That shit was crazy. We was linking with the manufacturers. Um, who was it? Um, was it IK Multimedia? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we had IK Multimedia that was that was trying to get us um, the right uh, equipment to plug our phones into so yeah, it sound man. good. Yeah. yeah, man, we we had we had some Sean. Yeah, we had some Sean. connections, man. We had some some definite connections. But back to that music though, producers, you already you spoke on that. What about like the, just music in general? Music in general, um, it's not fair as far as. So now, you know, we got the streaming shit, right? Mm -hmm. And 0. 0.00. Yeah, whatever platform. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Spotify being the lowest. Um, yeah. I think what would be dope and what is needed, but I don't see it happening. Um, I kind of have like a union environment from when I was in a union at uh, Domino Sugar. Mm -hmm. And... I like when Hollywood said, no, we, we're shutting this shit down. We ain't doing shit else until... DJ Tunt was talking about this. Yeah, uh, for real? Yeah. Uh, Remember uh, we, was, we was in Atlanta? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was like, man, I'm trying to unionize yeah. the producers and songwriters. I, the, I, I, I agree. Uh, so, it, it needs to be done, man. It so needs to be. Until shit gets worked out, like, on the music side, because, like, mm -hmm. see what they did in Hollywood. They need to... It should have mirrored that. Like right. that, it should have been all at one time. Yeah. And like, all right, well, no, nah, we shutting this shit down. But the motherfuckers that are getting to it, they wouldn't. Because they already there. Because they already there. And they and they don't they don't want to jeopardize their own wealth instead of doing it for the people. Right. You know what I mean? And I mean, if it was up to me, if I was in those positions, I would. Right. I would fight for you know what I'm saying. The pro the producers and songwriters and engineers. You know what I mean? Because engineers, man. <laughs> Since I became an engineer, I really understand why they feel the way they feel. I think they should get a piece of the record also. They, bro, like, they definitely um, should. I work, I've been working with uh, Yanir Gaines from out of Brooklyn. Shouts out to... Shout out, shout out to Yanir. And we got, we got some shit coming up. And he's like one of the first artists that I work with that is just getting to it strictly off the music. Yeah. You know, I work, but I do the music. 
But like he get into it just all the music syncs and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I like how when we work with each other and shit, he said, Oh, hey, I, I pitched this to this to this sync house, sends me all the information. He sends me the videos of the uh the Zoom calls and all that stuff. Right. He keep me tapped in. And um he said, Oh, but we got this one record. He said, Hey, do you mind if I um Bring my engineer in on a on a percentage. Oh, sure. Yeah. We gotta get this record out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do it. Let's do and it. And I think I wish more artists were like that. You know what it is, man? It goes back to what we talked about with Sound Cartel. Ego. Hmm. I really think like you forget artists, y'all forget that without the producer. Without the engineer. Yeah. What you got? Now, yes. Can you create the song? If yeah. it's if it's you writing it, mm-hmm. but you forget about the songwriter too. Yep. Now, if it's all four of us in the room, why are you not breaking bread with everybody? Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the thing that it's like that bothers me because it's like, it's so much money out there. And you just focused on the greed of it, and you're not focusing on the the love and the, and the, the sharing, the wealth. Yeah, I mean, look at LeBron. Yeah, everybody hate him. He put his team on, but he got his team on. Yeah, you can't say nothing bad about that dude. His whole team on. You know what I'm saying? Look at Kobe. Kobe did the same thing. He didn't have a big team, but right. guess what? He put his kids on. He putting everybody that's around him on. Everybody does it. Like, you know what I mean? Put your people on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they fell the concept. And that's where I think the music needs to change as well is because, like, how we can't unionize when, when people don't even want to be a union themselves. Right. And it's a lot of times, I had to say, it's us. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. the blacks. It's the yeah. black folks, bro. Yeah. You don't have this issue, and if you do have this issue, it's handled behind doors, yep. and they come to an agreement. Mm-hmm. With us, it's like, oh, I need to be the biggest. Right. I need to be this. bro. I don't want to be the biggest. Nothing. Yep. Give me mine, and let, and let me keep it, keep it moving, because I still want to be able to go into grocery stores and not have to have all that craziness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be famous. Yep. You know what I mean? Just give me the fortune. I say that all the time, but I think, I think that's where... Unir, shout out to Unir. Um, that's dope, bro. That the fact that he can actually, he actually is doing that. Like, hey, bro, like I'm I'm shopping this sink. Here's here's the video where we talked about um that over line of communication. Like a lot of artists feel as though, hey, you just made the beat. I don't gotta talk to you, nigga. Like, right. you know what I mean? But like, no, nah, it's an open line of communication. Like, once you get on that level. But the artist where though you're texting beats or you know, or hey, you good? You know what I mean? Like not even yeah, on the music. On the music, just just yeah. checking in yeah, with you. Good? You you know what yeah. I mean? Out of fam, you know what I mean? Right. Shit like that, and that's different. You know what I mean? But like, a lot of artists feel as though they don't have to. It's like, you know, it's more of a they, they wanted to be impersonal, I guess. Like not, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. eh, you know what I mean? But like, but yeah, but. But uh, Yanir, we got a guitar player on there. That's his man's whatever. Bro, he played a guitar on there. Do you, like, do you mind if... You know, he's like, you know, you can say no, I get it. You know yeah. what I mean? And make him a work for hire. But, or could, could you... Do you want to yeah. include him in the record? I said, include him in the record. Include him. Like, you, you, because you want to... Anything you work on, you want it to be as big as possible. Yeah. Take the ego, man. I'm telling yeah. you. When I, when I create that studio... That's the first thing it's going to say is leave, leave the ego at, at the, the door. door. Yeah. Leave it leave. at the door. Please leave, leave it at the door because we want to make the best record possible. Yeah. It don't matter. The, it don't matter. Like, we're going to figure out the percentage. But if you play something, I'm going to make sure you get you get yeah. a percentage off that, dog. Like, I'm not going to leave you hanging. And what if I need a guitar player? For another, for, another for record. For another reason. Or for an engineer or something like that. And that guitar player could go back and say, Oh, I remember when you ain't, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I'm petty like that too, so I get it. So I yeah. have a, and my memory, I can remember back to age three. Right. So anybody that wronged me or anything like that, like, no, I remember. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know they be saying? like, they be like, oh man, just let that. No. Nah. Yeah. It's certain things you ain't letting go. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's certain yeah. things you're not letting. We ain't letting 2024, we ain't letting shit slide. Ain't nothing <laughs> slide no more, dog. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We we've done this for so long that it's like, bro, if I if I keep letting you slide, I'm never gonna be able to progress to where I need to go because right. you just keep trying to like do me dirty. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, you on this record? Cool. You on this record? Cool. You got something? You don't? All right, we'll get you the next one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's why it's like with Ye, like Ye will put anybody, you in that, if you in that room, he putting your name right. on that joint. And they ain't, you don't know what percentage you getting, but mm-hmm. he putting your name on there. So when you look at them credits, because I'm a credit guy, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I used to look at the books and be Same. looking, you know what I'm saying? Same. Like, even with my records now, it's like I look at the records and be like, damn, this person was on there, this person, this person yeah. was on there. Like it's dope. And and I think um it needs to happen. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You need you need to have people like that, man. That the open line of communication will get you so far. Definitely. And being able to say yes or being able to be like, um, no problem. Yeah, sure. Cool. What else? What else you need? You know what I mean? Yeah. Can get you in more doors. And it's like everybody be thinking they supposed to get a certain thing, but they don't understand the back end and the business of everything. Yeah. So, like, learn that business part first, then go with everything else. You know what I'm saying? But, um, top five producers. Top five. Top five. Top five. Producers. Yeah. All top time. five. All time. Hit me with them. All right. When I wouldn't even be making beats if it wasn't well, first it wasn't for uh my brother Drag, but he he would be an honorable mention. But um guy that's on Kanye West. Yay. Yep. Um Is that five going up or one, two, three, or they're just five? Just because like five. they all Yeah. They all one A's. Yeah, it's more like you can hear a little bit. But they influence and all my stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, when Drag, he played We Are The Champion mm-hmm. off the um, Dream Team album. Yeah. From Pain and Full. Yeah. When I heard that, I said, who the fuck made this? She was crazy. And how do I do that? Right. Then he played I Am Dame Dash. Same album produced by Just Blades. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, I gotta, I gotta learn yeah. this shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they, they my, they my guys. Uh, Kanye, Just Blades, um, DJ Paul and Juicy J when they bumped them in. Yeah, they together. They, they, they won. They They're definitely group. won. Because yeah. Mister Don't Play Fire, Choices soundtrack. Fire. Fucking. Like, that whole LeChat album, like, whole... Everything they Everything dropped. that yeah. they dropped in that era. Look, what's the name? Uh, Lil White. Lil White. Lil White was hard. Bro. Frazier Boy. Yeah. yeah. Like, Shout out to Memphis, man. Like, Shout out to Memphis. That Memphis sound has a... Yeah. It's still going. Huge impact on me, and it's still going and to this day. And it's still going to this day. Um, still going. That's why their shit don't sound... Yeah, that's why you can play Mr. Don't Play right now. In the club, anywhere. Yep. Right now. And yeah. it don't sound dated. It's timeless. Yeah. Yep. Um, and Pharrell. I like his uh, I like his R&B and, and his rap, whatever, you know, yeah. hip hop, but Matter of fact, he 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 does everything. Pop, uh, all of that. All yeah. that shit. And uh Timbaland. Okay. That's a mean list. That's and a mean list. Honorable mentions. Yeah. I gotta throw them in there. Um even though they not really fans of each other. Uh Think and the Justice League. I was about to say, I was like, I was waiting on the Justice yeah. League, you know. Yeah. I, Cause like Justice League does and I I Rook. had a yeah, yeah Rook, man, Rook. Rook. Yeah. I had a uh you know, when he had his his uh uh switch, I had a chance to play beats for him mm-hmm. and it was like a, you know, I don't know if 
I know your audience don't really know me like that, but like they my, will. Yeah, but I they sound definitely will. sound like them. Yeah. It sound like a team of motherfuckers yeah. doing some shit. It's some or- orchestral, yeah, orchestral, cinematic, yeah, craziness. And I sent him that beat, and he was like, "Huh, you got balls? You got balls sending uh, this type of beat to uh, to me or whatever." All right, I'm interested. Yeah. What else you got? You know what I mean? I'm sending the shit, and um, I, I I got a placement from that point. You know? Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Justice. Um, and and Bink. Um, I, mean, I don't know if this shit gonna come out, but um, remember I I was, so a couple of months ago I was doing some shit like, you know, you gotta you always gotta come up with something. So I'm playing a melody mm-hmm. that I I composed, and I say, hey, um, all right, I, I just got this melody from this guy named uh, he's from Baltimore, Mark Hell. Taylor or something like that. Mm-hmm. Right, let me let me hear what he got. And I press play. And it was, it was a melody, but I already had made the beat already, but right. I just stripped it. Just played the melody. DJ Burn one. Shout out to DJ Burn one. Shout out to Burn one. He um he heard it and he was like, Shh. damn, at Bink would go crazy on this. And Burn one, very respected. And think, Hell yeah, that mixtape era yeah. was crazy. And Bink reached out. Well, they were com- they were talking in my uh, in the feed. Said, yeah, send me that. And I say the next day, this was a Sunday, and the next day, I'm I'm, at, I'm in my cubicle at work. Yeah, fucking Bink is uh, he got drums on my composition or whatever. Right. Like wow, shit sound and, crazy. You know what I'm saying? I was like, that's crazy. Yeah. I, was, I hope it come out. If it don't, it's cool. Yeah, but if it does, great. That's that's the feeling, man. I think for us, it's like it's the feeling of accomplishment when you got the greats that we look up to. Yeah. on your music. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And and shout out to Newland because Newland was when he when he started singing on my records. I'm like, damn, bro! I never thought somebody could sing right. on my on my records. Uh, and um, but no, nah, man, I'm I'm psh, man. I'm I'm waiting. That's the that's the only thing, man. When you it's doing music, game. that waiting game is something else, yeah, man. Yeah, not one to talk about because you you just you just want to you just like look, bro. Like I can't speak on it, right? But when it come out, it's gonna come out because I got some stuff, yeah, like with you, some Detroit artists, mm-hmm. and I'm like, bro, when this joint gonna drop, right? You know what I mean? Just just so I can just be like, ah, thank you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to get that you want to get that monkey off your back, man. But like, uh, even the project that. Both you and I uh, could have been on. Uh, yeah. But yeah, what, you know, what, we talked about it, but then, uh, uh, you know, the, it, well, it, it, is he canceled right now? I mean. I don't know. Uh, well, don't anyway, know. we spoke into, uh, fuck it, uh, Puff, yeah. Brother Love. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> before, you know, while he was dropping his album. Yeah. Uh, it was called the Love Album. One, the Love Album. Yeah, and uh, I think you had your conversation with him first. Yeah, me and S. Shout out to Esquire. Shout out to Esquire. Yeah. Shout out to Jay too, because Jay the one that plugged us to that gotcha. that whole. Uh, and um, and I was over at workshop, but uh, Jay, and um, you know, he was in there. You know, all right, Playboy, what y'all got? Da da da. I said, all right, shit, this. For real. Yeah. And then like you told me the same shit. It was like, oh shit. That, and I was happy for you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, well, shit, I hope you get that shit. Yeah. Of course you said the same thing because I mean, ain't no hate type of shit. Nah. You know what I'm and that's the thing, bro. Like we never it's never it's never no hate with me. It's never no hate with you. Like we we embrace each other because yeah. it's like I see a lot of a lot of it's going around, man. It's like the new, the the new, the old word, but it's make, they making it new again. Is is dick riding? Like no, mm-hmm. bro. Like I'm rooting for my homies right. for real. Like if you win it, if you get in a, in a position to win, I'm rooting for you. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we all, like I always tell people, we ain't gotta talk every day, but we check in with each other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You would send me something like, yo, what you think about this? I send you something like, damn, who is that? Like what artist is that? You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like. Well, artists and producers and whatever you in, you know what I mean? They need to start understanding that, like, bro, we 
we bigging up each other. Like, yeah. we not here for the bullshit, like, the hating. And we not hating on nobody. Like, you know what I mean? At all. Like, we if it's if it's dope, it's dope. If, yeah. it's, if it's not, we going to tell you it's not. And yeah. you got to be able to take that constructive criticism and just keep it moving. And you got to know when it's constructive criticism and just pure hate. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people do be hating, man. But oh, yeah. yeah. That 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 album definitely was waiting. I, you know what I mean? It was just waiting. Just waiting to hear something back. You know what I mean? S, S doing his thing too, man. And, and like, we were just like, I don't know. But we was, man, we was in the studio cooking up like left and right. And then the songwriters would hit us up and we'd be on FaceTime. And then they'd be like, oh, put the, um, I don't know if you ever had this problem, but one, one songwriter was like, yeah, the, um, the key on that auto tune because we we would engineer it too, like so we would okay. make the beat, send it to them. They send it back to us, record it, and then they ask us to 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 mix it, like mm. you know what I mean, mix it to to the point where we can send it off. Yeah. And one time, bro, like the dude was singing in the wrong key, mm. and he had his auto tune set in the wrong key, and I'm like, bro, this beat is in like A, right, A minor. Why are you in F, right? Like, this shit is an F. He like, bro, just put it in an F. Just do it. Just do it. And I'm like, all right. It'd be a lot easier if you sing closer to the key. Yeah, then so I was just like, because is... I'm like, all right. Yeah. Mix the joint, sent it back to him. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it, it never it never hit. I don't know if it hit his desk or whatever. But right. yeah, man, Um, that'd be the thing. Just the, the hurry up and wait. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and make this beat. Put it, send it out. And then it's just a waiting game. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And some some we got to figure out too. Like why does the waiting game? Because you know if you like it or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just say yes or no. Like the the joint the uh, uh I got two joints on John Connor's upcoming project. Um, and one of the beats from the Bougie project. For 2019. Real? Classic. That's right. You know what I mean, 2019. Yeah. I bet you I know which one it is too. Uh-huh. When it come out, I'm be like, "Yep, I knew it." Yeah. Yep, I already knew it. But like, like, but speak on that, bro. Okay. Because 2019, you released a, a a beat tape, an instrumental tape. Yeah. In 2019, here it is in 2024. So five years, and and this joint about to release. Yeah. People, they gotta understand like. I always tell people, like, when we used to be on the critiques, I'm like, look, man, it may not be for this time now, yep. but it might be for some time later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's sp- specifically a beat right there that I, I really can, like, go back and be like, look, Shada was, Shada made this beat five years ago, and it's just hitting the streets it's now. Crazy, you know what I'm saying? The artist who had it before him, who was killing it right now in, yeah. in, in uh, D.C., Nucci. You gave that to Nucci? Shout out to Nucci. Shout out to Nucci. Shout out to Nucci. Because uh, we had a joint out. Mm-hmm. But he put it out on a... He just made a little video on Instagram. She was going up. Right. I see, you know, took it down. Yeah. I'm like, he took it down and I don't know, but like, he invited me to like a studio session in a beat that now John Connor has. I heard I heard the record. I was yeah. like, oh shit. You know what I mean? It, it was like a little listening party. Mm-hmm. Nothing ever came out or whatever. And I don't wait on these artists. Yeah. Don't do that either. You know, like Don't do that either. Because you know they ain't waiting on you. They not, you know what I mean? Don't do that either. So we a talented guy and I like what he's doing. He, he the porch, did a, yeah, the off porch. The porch. Shit. Yeah. That's yeah, fire, that's bro. That's fire. You know what I mean? Like I'm starting to like go go music a little a little bit more. Than I did when I first got here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, I like the the young ladies. So, <laughs> not really, the ladies definitely do yeah. be killing it. Shout out to all the, the Go Go's, man. Yeah. TCB, CCB. I think I seen on there. Um, backyard. Uh, I, I I be trying to follow them. Yeah, you know what I mean. But, but I, I, what I do respect about the Go Go scene, you know, is, is the artistry, you know. Yeah, like, you know. And, I love that's what I'm live. saying. I love that part. Yeah. And and I love that they fixing the mixes cuz that's what made me that, not like go go. The mix would hurt my ears, yeah. man. And I went to a uh 
didn't even know it was a go go. I went to this like putt putt golf joint for my mm-hmm. my man's key birthday. No, it was no, it wasn't a putt putt golf. It was throw social. Gotcha. And upstairs they had like it was like grass uh, inside. Like mm-hmm. it was grass, but it was like cabanas and everything. It was okay. dope. Like it was a dope spot. And CCB was there. Shout out to Kid Exclusive. You you met you met Kid uh, off of uh, Clubhouse. Yeah. He fired too. Kid Exclusive producer. Um, shout out to Kid. He uh he played the keys for CCB. Okay. And um I didn't even know it. So I'm just chilling listening to the song. I'm like, like, bro, that's kid. So mm-hmm. I text him. I said, yo, bro, when you take a break, like I'm here. I didn't know you was why you tell me you was. He's like, oh shit. So we chopped it up. But um the mix is what made me fall in love with it because the mix sounded so good. I remember bouncing at Layla when I used mm-hmm. to bounce at Layla and all them, them uh, Go-Go's would come and the mix would be so cringing, man. And I'd be like, man, I'm about to go outside. I ain't about to stand here and, and, and do security. I'm going to do security outside. I can't do it. Because it used to hurt my ears, bro. And I know deep down inside, it's all about your, your engineer yeah. getting everything right. But a lot of times they used to just come and play. Yeah, they just live. Yeah, they just come and play and yeah. not like you know test out the 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 drums, test out the mics, test yeah. out everything. And um, but yeah, man, that 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 off the porch is definitely a gym for the city, man. It's definitely a gym for the city. But um, before we get out of here, bro, I always do gym class. Okay, what's a gym that you can leave for the people? Of, of, you know, relationships worth more than money. Like, anything. It can be a gym that can, you know what I mean, keeping a toolbox, producer, artist, whoever. It's for whoever. What's something you can lead on? Always keep getting better. Yeah. Always keep learning. Mm. Never think that you know everything. Yeah. You know, uh, just keep trying to learn. Like, it, new shit comes out all the time. Every Stay day. Stay up on it. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I I saw, like, a new mastering plug-in. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, it, right. it just does so much. And that it's decreases the time you got to, you know, for mixing this shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, just always be learning. Like, always. Yeah, stay stay learning. Yeah, that's yeah. that's definitely a, a great gym because for us, man, as producers, man, like producer and we engineer. You know what I mean? Like we we fall in love with what we got, but then it's something new that be sounding yeah. so much better, like the God particle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like but now I'm on something else. Yeah, then it's like okay, what's master next? plan now. Yep, yep. The God what's particle. Next? I like it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but like if. It's so it weighs so heavy on, on the CPU. Yeah. When I found out this master plan, and the dude went to Howard, so he black. I'm like, oh shit, I got him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, yeah, nah, great. Oh, oh, one more thing. Um, uh, I don't know, um, yeah, yeah, the master plan is what I use. Yeah. Sure. Um, oh, that's what it is. All right. Um, I'm 39 years old. Right. But I can battle with. People, eighteen or whatever, like you can put my beats in that shit, and it won't sound dated. Yeah, my issue with people a little older than me or my era, sometimes I'm not saying all, but a lot of them, you get stuck in in that era, in that era, yeah. or and like, yeah, why your eight oh eight's not? You know what I mean? Like you still gotta, no matter uh, how old you get or whatever, mm-hmm. you still gotta remain competitive, right? And not meaning like I'm battling everybody, but meaning like you should be able to put your shit in a room, not knowing who the fuck did it, don't care, mm-hmm. race, age, creed, whatever. Right. Oh, no, that shit hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and understand, like you said, learning and getting better. These youngins learning a, a faster way than we yeah. did. You get what I'm saying? So, like, don't try to, like, knock what they got, do, what they doing because... Like you said, they get stuck in that era, and I think that's where New York fell off and yeah. Atlanta oh, took yeah. over. Definitely. You know what I'm Definitely. saying? Because they were stuck in that era, yep. but then they tried to bring bring it back with the with the UK drill, mm-hmm. but it's the UK. Yeah. It's the UK already 
had it. Now y'all got the drill. Now it's like the drill is fizzling out now. Yep. Now what so y'all now, gonna do? Now more people fucking with that. And I, I call it a niche sound at first, mm-hmm. but it's slowly now Drake on it, that that uh that uh, Griselda sound. Yeah. And that's the thing, like it's it's stay stay continue continue with your sound, but also learn to 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 step outside of your sound. Yeah. Like learn how to like do that's when I start I start learning how to do UK drill. I start stepping outside my normal comfort zone just to see if I can really do it. And again, that leaves more doors exactly. open for artists to be like, hey, what you got? Tweet, what you got? So like, i.e., um, it was a time uh Trail was supposed to come to the studio. Um, shout out to Will, uh, to his studio quality touch. And um, I ended up working with Foams, his right hand man. Okay. And you know, like again, he 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 was like, yo, he did a bit, he did a video and everything for the song. And he was like, yo, if y'all get me like a hundred likes or something like that, I'm gonna drop the video. Of course, you know, I flooded the joint. Mm-hmm. But um, it's like that, man. It's like you never know like who you're gonna rock, run into. And I had I already had beats low, like when he came downstairs, I already had a beat playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause I I was the only producer there, so I was like, man, play this. And had his had his running, and when he came in, he was like, "Yo, who who is this? Right. Like, who beat is this?" I'm like, "It's me." He's like, "Yo, can I get on this? Go ahead, do your thing." You know what I mean? And that's how you continue to build, you know, build those relationships. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But once again, bro, I appreciate you for finally coming. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah. been a, it's been a long time to get us yeah, to like trying to put this together. Put this together, man. But this is a, a special episode for me, man. Episode ten. Um, Sound Cartel. If it wasn't for Sound Cartel, it would be no me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I had to make sure this this first 2024 episode be the one to to start start off the year, man. And um, next week, we'll be in Philly. Uh, you know what I okay. mean? At the PodCon, man. Go meet Wallow and them. So yeah, man. Uh, appreciate you, bro. And um, Thanks for like having that, me. Oh, anytime, bro. And we always going to get you back. Oh, we got to start the, uh, the, the pod. Not the pod, but the uh, the, the music. Critique? The critiques, the beat and song critiques again, man. Yep. It can be sound cartel, don't matter. Ten zero, sound cartel, whatever, because it's all like me. It's all family. It's me. Yeah. yeah, it's all family. Like that, man. We go. That's just just worth more than money. Podcast. I'm talking relationships worth more than money. No time for the fake, but phony.